Good day everyone and welcome back to Jack's Cosplay. My name is Jax and I do cosplay. Now, if you guys are anything like me when you're working in your workshop, I'm sure that you always encounter two problems. The first being that you often spill paints or glue or whatever you're using while you're working and it can often mess up your shirts or your clothes or whatever you're wearing. And the second being that you're always running out of pockets to store things, whether it's different tools you're using or notebooks, phone, whatever. You're always running out of places to put things. So in today's video, I am gonna solve two problems with one solution. Today, we are going to be making a workshop apron. Now, what is a workshop apron, you might ask? It's simply an apron that you wear while working in the workshop. Now, obviously, I've got to give credit where credit is due. The apron that I'm going to be making today is taking a lot of inspiration from the work of Adam Savage and his workshop apron. So yeah, so definitely credit where credit is due. Huge inspiration from Adam Savage to do this apron. So let's get right on into making this workshop apron. So to start off, I got my hands on these two beautiful pieces of fabric, which are going to be the majority of what the apron is made out of. For the main base of the apron, I've got this wonderful black denim, which is quite a tough, sturdy material, which I will use for the main body of the apron. And then I've also got this beautiful blue cotton twill, which is what I'm gonna use for the pockets and the straps and all of those amazing details on the apron. So these are the two main materials that I will be using for my apron. Okay, so to start off, I've got my black denim fabric here, which I have folded over as you can see and I have measured out a rectangle, uh, which in total length will be 69 centimeters when unfolded, but folded, I've got 34 and a half centimeters here and 107 centimeters along, along the side. And I've just added those few extra centimeters to allow for a seam allowance uh, when I fold those edges over to sew them down to make it a bit neater. So to start off, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out this rectangle, which will be the main base for the apron. The next thing that I'm doing is I am going to mark out 16 centimeters here along the top part of the apron. Now, it only has to be 16 because remember the apron is still folded over. So that is gonna mark out the top part of the apron. And then also from the top, I'm going to measure 37 centimeters down. And then what I can do is I can then draw a curve from that point to that point, to, which will give us that apron shape. Okay, so now I've gone and I have marked out that curve uh, for the apron and I just used a standard white fabric pencil to do that, which is what I've been using the whole time. So now I am just gonna go and use my fabric scissors and whilst the fabric is still folded over, cut along that line to get our apron shape. And now if I unfold this piece of fabric, there we have got our classic apron shape for the base. Okay, so I have now folded over all the edges of the apron and I have pinned them down so that I can go and sew over these edges to make the apron a bit neater. Okay, so now that we have gone and sewn up all the edges of the apron so that it's nice and neat, the base of the apron is pretty much done. What we're now gonna do is we're gonna take our blue cotton twill and we are going to start making the pockets for the apron. So 
So the first pocket that I want to have on the apron is I want to have a pocket over here at the top of the apron which I can put some pens, uh, some pencils, whatever I'm using over there. So this pocket is going to be 23 centimeters by 12 centimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out of the blue fabric. I've also gone ahead and marked out these other pockets for the apron who, which and the dimensions for these pockets I will put somewhere here on the screen so that you can see what dimensions these are. So now I'm just going to go ahead and cut these pieces out. So now what I'm going to do is I have pinned up all the opening edges of the pockets, so the ends that will be open for putting things in, and I'm just going to go hem these because I won't be able to hem these when I sew these pockets down onto the main apron. So yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and hem these parts and then we'll start attaching these pockets to the apron. Okay, so now I have hemmed all the edges of the pockets and I've also taken this long pocket and I have sewed it down onto this other large pocket. Um, so I've just sewed it around the edges and I also put a line down the center there with the sewing machine. So I've got two smaller pockets like that, which will go over here more or less on the apron and I've also hemmed this one so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold over these edges and sew down these pockets onto the apron
Okay, and here I have attached the pockets to the apron. So for starters, we've got this little pocket up here at the top and I've also sewed some lines down there so that I can put pencils or pens or whatever in there. So that's the first pocket. And then the second pocket is this pocket here, which is sewn along the top and along these three sides here, which acts as like a big pocket, like on a hoodie jacket. And then also these two pockets here. So now that I have finished putting on the pockets of the apron, the next thing I want to do is I want to make some straps out of this blue fabric so I can actually hold the apron on my body. Okay, so for the straps of the apron, I have cut some pieces of blue fabric that are 1.5 meters long and five centimeters wide. So I'm just gonna go and fold over the edges, then fold it again and sew that down and then we will be able to attach them to the apron. Okay, so now that we have got the main part of the apron complete and we have also sewed up the straps, we now need to connect the straps to the apron. And to do that, I am just gonna use some little brass grommets, which I will make a hole in the straps and the apron, and I will use grommets to put them together. I will also make put some grommets on the side here so that the straps can cross over at the back, come through the grommets on the side, and tie around at the back. So let's get right on into that. And there we have it. That is how I made this cool workshop apron. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing for future geeky, crafty, and cosplay content. If you guys would like to stay updated with other projects that I'm working on, you can follow me on my Instagram, which is at jacks.cosplay. And I also have a Discord channel, which I will link in the description down below. So feel free to go and join that Discord server to see other stuff that I'm working on and meet other cosplayers, makers, people with the same interests. Thank you so much for watching this video and until next time, this has been Jack's Cosplay.